Hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into your reading. I'm going to start off with two overall energies. Um, wait, hold on, hold on. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I celebrated my birthday over this past weekend and I got a lot of good little goodies. Okay, so one of the gifts I received was this beautiful, okay, singing bowl. It's so cute and so tiny. My sister got it for me. And um, I normally like Palo Santo or Sage in between readings. So, um, I still do that, but I'm hoping that I could do this as well so I don't have to get my house so smoky all the time. Um, but this cleanses and cleans and regulates the frequency as well. Look at how adorable this is, okay? <laughs> it's so cute, but it's so powerful, okay? Like small things, or what is it? Big things come in small packages. Well, this is one of those. So we're going to cleanse and clear uh, the, the energies in the room. Okay. And then we'll get into your reading. So let me know if it's too loud. I'm just going to ring it once. Regulate the frequency. And then we'll get into the reading. Okay. Here we go. For the Virgo, please. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels. Cleanse, clear and regulate the frequency. Give the Virgo um, a healing guided reading, something that they could use to help them along their journey. Okay, let's go. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. <laughs> I like it. All right. Let's get right into your reading, Virgo. Two overall energies for the beautiful Virgo. Oh my gosh. All right. Ooh, this is my favorite card in the deck. Okay. <laughs> Another one for the Virgo. Okay, Leo got this card too, so you might want to go check out the Leo reading. The exact same card in the exact same spot. All right, we have love. <laughs> this is my favorite card in this deck. Okay, it's beautiful. It's a love explosion. Uh, somebody is completely in love with a Virgo or Virgo, you fell in love with someone or something that you want to commit yourself to. It brings you so much joy, so much happiness, so much fulfillment uh, in your soul, okay? You really love this. It, like I said, it could be a person. It could be, a, you know, something you do as a career. It could be platonic. Okay, this could be um, reconciling with a friend or uh, coming into, you know, people that you haven't seen for a while and just um, no matter the distance, you know, sometimes people have families that live on the other side of the earth, okay? But it's when you finally um, get to connect, you know, it's like there's no distance at all is what I'm feeling. But I do get romantic vibes, okay? I do get romantic vibes from this card. So it's really beautiful. The second card out we have is the coffin, okay? So uh, the coffin represents endings. It is the death card, but also in tarot, the death card represents transformation. So... You know, maybe this is a relationship that might be coming back together. Maybe there was separation, but there's still a little love there. Um, 
also maybe there is a little toxicity to your relationship okay and somebody had to figure it out that that toxic energy wasn't welcomed and it's not doing anything for the relationship and it had to die it had to be let go like the this if this is tying into the leo reading which i just did um something something had to die so something can begin again okay so let's read the message we'll read the love message it says love surrounds all your connections move forward positively in all areas of your life okay so you're very loved you're very supported with or without this energy okay but combined <laughs> um there may have been a, a, a situation you had to distance yourself from to protect your energy okay all right we have coffin we have natural endings abound take care with your health okay so with that take care with your health something about the situation was unsettling it was maybe causing illness causing sickness you know it, sickness uh, doesn't always come in the form of a cough and a sneeze okay you, it could have caused people depression it could have caused people anxiety you know and everything that goes along with those you know with that illness so we'll see let's get into it with the <laughs> with the kipper oh at the bottom look at that okay i didn't even shuffle it yet so it has the main female i could be speaking with a feminine virgo right now but i think you friend zoned somebody and they want to come back to present the red rose um the second time around is what i'm feeling the second time around and here are some roses here okay like okay so what i'm seeing is that there's a rose that's opening up and then there's a rose that was real closed <laughs> okay and then there's this rose that's that's just like peeking out from the heart you know like maybe gonna dunk back in because it didn't feel confident enough to make the approach she or she okay <laughs> um but let's see we have love and coffin here for the virgo okay so we have change i told you that is the death card it's about changing it's the card of change it's the card of transformation so i'm feeling an old way of doing something or an old mindset or somebody had to pack it up and leave because they love themselves so much to deal with a toxic energy this vehicle is packed with somebody's belongings and they're changing locations they're changing okay they're with all these light sources okay there was like all these red flags going off and this is what caused and promoted and motivated somebody to get out of there if that is something that will resonate to you okay um What exactly is this change for the Virgo? Maybe you're changing location. You've maybe you found another place that you fell in love with. Maybe you're changing because the place that you were living in it was it was bad for your health. And now you are on the hunt for some place and you just, you came across something and you may have went to go take a look at it and you just absolutely fell in love. And you said, this is the place for me. I'm also getting that. All right. For the Virgo, please. 
What is this change for the Virgo? Okay, an exchange. Unexpected. Okay, so this is an unexpected change, but it's good. It's, it's going to lead to abundance. It's going to lead to more. Okay, it's rolled by the 27. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Now we have two nines. The two and the seven, that's a nine. Unexpected income and change. Something's coming in. Some sort of opportunity that's going to allow you to disconnect from something that's toxic. Something that you're really going to love. Something, something financial, okay? What is this unexpected income? It's like you're almost there. Okay, you're in like the process. We're at 99. Okay, once we reach 100, okay, that, that's when like the finale. That's when everything, okay, everything's how it should be. <laughs> um, it's like one more step. What is this unexpected income and change? Oh my gosh, we have the privileged lady. It's rolled by the 12, one and the two, that's a three, and in the Kipper deck, that's a marriage. Okay. What is love for the Virgo? What is love for the Virgo? Oh my God, I told you, like a financial blessing. Okay. You are coming in to some sort of wish fulfillment, okay? Some good karma, some good energy. Now, with this card and the coffin card, I am feeling the wheel of fortune, okay? And it's your time on the wheel. Um, two cards of unexpected and sudden okay and then we have change an unexpected sudden change okay <laughs> you might be hitting the lottery i don't know you're coming you're coming into the good life okay now whether um this is coming by ways of a winning of some sort an inheritance you didn't know about um a settlement you won in court it can reach you a bunch of different ways. Or you're coming into union and the combined income between you and that person is going to, okay, uh, change your tax practice, okay? Like really put you up there to where you're living a privileged lifestyle, all right? So you're hitting it big virgo i don't know what else to say you're putting uh, the coin in the slot machine you're pulling the lever and ding 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 what is the, oh i got this little bell now <laughs> uh you're hitting the jackpot it's seven 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 seven's the number of heaven it's all the cherries it's payout time the Virgo has been a good little boy, a good little girl, and it's being recognized. And you are going to come into some sort of financial blessing. Okay. One more for love. Why is love here for the Virgo? Okay, I know I said eight. It's rolled by the 35, three and the five. That breaks down to an eight. Eight is the number of abundance. This is a uh, good karma. I know I talked about karma with the 11. This is justified. This is what you have due for you. This is waiting on the other side of your transformation. There is a transformation. Um, you've been guided by your spiritual team to get on the right path and you finally found it. And this is going to lead to so much happiness, 
so much joy, so much love and financial security. We have pathway. It's because this is what's destined for you, Virgo. Okay. This is what's destined for you with the 11 here. That's the number of karma. That's the number of justice. And we have privileged lady, okay? So the privileged lady is the empress, okay? In the traditional rider weight. So she's the queen of all queens. You are just radiating at this frequency. And she's abundant, okay? She's an abundance magnet. Whatever she touches turns to gold, okay? I'm feeling what is meant for you is finding you, has been guiding you towards it this whole time. You might have been misled. You may have been on a few different paths that kind of led to nowhere until you really tuned into yourself and tuned into your spirituality and it puts you on this path to abundance okay this is beautiful energy finding the virgo let's get into it with the tarot oh okay i'm also getting evil eye with this card because they're both together and then with the rest of these cards too now that i'm seeing okay somebody's jealous somebody wants to put an ending somebody sees you happy and joy uh in love loving yourself loving others um, and people are, some of you have a hater or two, and I'm seeing with the two, uh, flowers here uh, that they don't want this for you. Oh, the magician wanted to sneak out and look at the bottom. That's you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, queen of money. The queen of fucking money at the bottom, okay? Well, what wanted to sneak out was the magician. And what I know I was trying to mention something. You have evil eye. What is this? This is a magician. This is a conjurer. This is somebody sending you bad juju because they're jealous. They are jealous of the, the frequency you're radiating, that you are radiating, okay? Um, they see your abundance. The, what did I say? The empress... She's the queen of all queens. She is um, secure in all her elements. Her water, okay? Her pentacle, her money, uh, her fire, her air. They see this and look at this guy. They want to manifest it for themselves. Almost like they want to take it from you so they could have it. But they wouldn't even know what to do with these tools. That's the thing. They wouldn't even know what to do with it if they had it. Because it's not meant for them. This is not their path. This is your path. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, possibly. So you could be dealing with a Two-Face. Okay? Somebody that smiles in your face but has really evil intentions in the background. Okay. Let's see what else. <laughs> so <laughs> we're like this okay you could be uh you could have water in your chart cancer pisces scorpio this is the king of love okay he is coming in with a love offer he's very emotional about it he could have taken his sweet little time it's something that he's been wanting to do, but he gets cold feet because he doesn't know if the uh, feeling is mutual or she switch the rules. This is somebody that cares for you so much, or this could be you Virgo. It could be speaking with a masculine. Um, That is really sorry for taking so long, I'm feeling. And, and it's almost like this is, I'm also get, feeling like um, when this person thinks about you, Virgo, they get really emotional. Almost, I'm feeling like their eyes well up with tears.
you know, normally, yeah, you know, he's the king of love. But for me, I'm feeling like this. Some this is somebody that's 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 apologetic. That's that's kind of. Um, Yeah, they're they're sorry. They're sorry. They love you. They're sorry. I don't know. They're sorry and they love you. Okay, not they're sorry they love you, but they're sorry and they love you. You make him f feel a little imbalanced in his emotion. You see, like there's these waves crashing in the background. Um, that's, I think, what was triggering the cold feet because you make them feel some sort of way. And maybe they made you feel some sort of way, but they had, they had to back off for whatever reason. Or this is somebody that did you wrong and is really sorry that they did. Okay, another one. Okay, fighting, competition, arguments. What did I say? Evil eye. Okay. The five of wands. I'm looking at this picture. These are people that have no sense. Okay, these are uh, people that are addicted to drama, sticking their nose in where it doesn't belong, getting mad at what they see, striking underhandedly. Okay, these are not suited individuals. They're not pages. They're not knights. They're not king or queens. They're certainly not emperors or empresses. Okay, these are haters. I know it. You have a few haters, okay? But when you are in the Empress energy, you attract all energies, good and bad, all right? So that comes with the territory. I'm feeling more jealousy than anything, okay? So... What you're doing is triggering something, okay? Because <laughs> I told you this because you're a winner. This is uh, the six of wands. They think that you're on your high horse and they're trying to knock you down, okay? They think that you're a pinata and here they come with the sticks, okay? They want to crack you open and take your candy, but they're not going to be able to. They can fuck off. All right, so the more for the Virgo. <laughs> Oh, now we have the King of Swords here. All right. So somebody wants to talk. I believe that it is the, I think this is the same person, okay? These are not two different individuals. Or maybe this is somebody you had to separate yourself from. But the King of Swords is represented by Aries Gemini Libra I think this is how this King of Cups when they approach you or Queen of Cups when they approach you they're going to come suited more as the King or Queen of Swords just so they don't get hurt okay so they kind of have their guard up what they want to talk they have something to say and what they have to say is um maybe first start off with an apology but then really get into their feelings and how they feel about you because this is what they're holding inside look at that card okay that's what they're holding inside or virgo this is you all right let's see what else Okay, also I'm getting that maybe you do have some sort of admirer and maybe they went too far. Like maybe they were starting to invade your personal space. Um, 
Okay, because this guy is like an investigator. This guy gets down to business. This guy sneaks around and gets gets all the goods on people. Um, but that's just one one way you could look at it. Okay. Yeah. This is somebody that's already. Either you were married to this person in the past. In this lifetime, married to them in a past lifetime, but they are thinking about you, Virgo, as being, uh, they have marriage on their mind because I am looking at the Empress. This looks kind of like a wedding gown. And like I said, it's ruled by the one and the two, and that's the marriage card in the Kipper deck. Okay. What was this? <laughs> I just put the deck. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Here you are, Virgo, single and ready to mingle. All the single ladies, it's my all my single ladies card. So this is why you're attracting uh, these haters, okay? Because your garden is being admired for being beautiful, for being abundant. Uh, do you think uh, the, you just woke up and your garden looked like this? No, you put the work in to make your garden look like this, okay? You had some beautiful ideas. Um, maybe that were birthed out of this situation, the separation. Instead of sulking, you went to work and you planted your star seeds and you nurtured them and they just flourished. They took off and um, you're on your way to abundance. Okay. This is like junior empress. Okay. So it's like the nine of pentacles and you get to the, the queen of pentacles and after the queen of pentacles is the, the empress. So I think you really, um, maybe you did have a separation or something in the background. This is the four of wands. That's the card of marriage. Um, or maybe there was like you were in a long-term commitment and you decided to um, separate for whatever reason that was and really pour into yourself and your garden just, <sighs> it just um, turned into like this magical place. And all eyes, okay, are on your beautiful garden. And it's attracting the these haters that want to jump the fence and not help you tend to your garden. But they want to come in and they want to pluck your flowers. So be very careful. Okay. So then now we have the four, uh, or they're trying to poison your garden. Okay. They're trying to appear one way when they're the other, something like that, or trying to give you like a false, what did I just say? Like a, a two-faced energy. So there you are minding your own business. Okay. Probably um, creating more ways you can make your garden more beautiful. Okay. Uh, just really in your own lane. And uh, here comes this cup of love from nowhere. Or this is a cup of love from, you know, just out of the blue. Somebody reaches out and tries to offer you some love. But with these past events here, you don't know if they're sincere or not. So you don't know if to trust it. Okay. So that could go either way. This might be the cup that this King of Cups is holding on to. And out of the blue, he here he comes, okay? Like the King of Swords and that of Swords, okay? Just like shoving it in your face, very blunt. <laughs> um, or this is somebody shady, the Two-Faced. I don't know. Okay, moving on. We have the... Eight of Cups. Okay. Moving on is right. Okay. You moved on because you're spiritually guided to move on. You're spiritually guided to the path that you're supposed to be on. These are the two cards. The Hierophant, which is a spiritual leader, uh, head of a spiritual organization, somebody that is guided by Source, 
the Heavenly Father. This is somebody that um, helps others, puts others before themselves. Like somebody that's selfless, almost. Someone that's kind and understanding. Somebody that's forgiving, but um, is a stickler for the rules, okay? But I also see that it came out with the Eight of Cups. So I feel like you've been spiritually guided, maybe to be some sort of spiritual leader yourself. You don't have to be. But really um, tapping into your spirituality to help you and guide you. And they guided you away from energy that you've been there, done that energy. Cups that have been filled and spilled. And now you're on to your ninth cup. It's only after this realization you know what your wishes, dreams, and hopes are. And then you, you are really were guided to go find it. Okay. And um, like, I know we had like the forest or whatever. That's the path you are on. Okay. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. That's the wish fulfillment. Uh, that's where your happy place is and you've been guided to go there, but you're making your you're making your moves and making it in silence because you already feel those five of ones, you know, around energy. OK, so this is why you're moving in silence. You could be dealing with the Pisces with the moon. You don't have to be, but. Um, that that's what that's about, you know. Maybe something you might hear from this King of Cups, King of Swords, maybe in the evening hours as well. <laughs> All right, let's start wrapping this up for the Virgo. So maybe, okay, or maybe I should just stop there because this was a beautiful reading. Oh, yeah, something's coming in. All right, with the eight arrows of love, something's coming in for the Virgo. Um, something that's exciting something that's going to make you happy a conversation that needs to be had yeah something that's going to come as a surprise and it could be a, a masculine energy coming in for a feminine energy quite possibly with the sun and there's like <laughs> there's one of those arrows coming right out of the sun all right so um yeah you're on your path you're doing the right thing keep moving forward um just be cautious that uh what is what did they say what is the, <laughs> with great power comes great with great power okay comes great responsibility really tend to your garden really protect it because you have some haters coming for it that want to pull your flowers um but in the same sense like i said you have it's a negative and a positive okay it's a blessing and a curse <laughs> but you also have this beautiful energy coming towards you okay virgo so so don't overwhelm yourself in the negative energy of the haters when there's so much abundance coming towards you um just get ready to receive something really beautiful is coming in for you okay so don't give all your attention to this nonsense is what i think the cards are trying to say because there's a big blessing on the way and you need to be ready for it. You need to be able to accept it and you really need to appreciate it when it comes in. Okay. Don't give any energy to this, this shit right here. All right. I think I'm going to end it there. I think we've gone long enough. All right. Uh, Virgo, please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right. Till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.